Catholic. Here is the latest church news from tradcatnight.blogspot.com. My good friends get to Tradcat Night on a daily basis. Bookmark us. If you're a website owner, add a permanent link onto your page. Tradcat Night is the number one ranked traditional Catholic website in the world as ranked by Alexa. A top 25,000 website. And I'm trying to keep you uh, up to date on all of the latest church apostasy news. And that's specifically what I would like to cover today. As many of you have already seen, Cardinal Burke once again butts heads with Francis, disagreeing with Francis's recent comments that the traditional rite or ritual is simply an exception uh, for the nostalgic. Uh, we must preface this by saying, at Trancat Night, we adopt what Father Hess has said, Archbishop Lefebvre has said. We don't agree with the conservative types, such as Cardinal Burke and some of the other conservative Novus Ordos who are still hiding behind the Council. We're still hiding behind the new Mass, and we're awaiting their conversion and repentance as well. So, from our perspective, both Burke and Francis are in the wrong. However, <laughs> We should, of course, have uh, hope that there will be conversions and continued conversions. I suggest to you that this will not occur until the chastisements start, until you start seeing priests and prelates literally killed in the chastisements and people finally getting the message, well, hey, maybe we did get this Vatican II thing wrong and Archbishop Lefebvre and people like Father Hess and people like Father Kramer were right. Now, in this particular piece, uh, we have from a European website, so bear with me. Uh, Burke disagreeing with Francis, saying the traditional right is uh, no exception. On November 10th in Italy, uh, Francis's uh, new book, In Your Eyes uh, Is My Word. Uh, we have Father Spadaro, Jesuit head of the uh, Roman Jesuit journal, La Civita Catechica, uh, reporting that Francis is simply suggesting that the Latin Mass was only meant as a, an exception for a nostalgic, and again, I've been saying this now for quite some time, uh, Francis is a universalist um, who simply is helping to prepare the way for the false prophet. He has to get everyone under his belt, so to speak, people from all false religions and false sects, whether it's Lutherans, whether it's uh, you know Buddhists or Muslims or the Jews, that's why we see the ecumenical movement. We should know as Catholics that the new mass is illicit and schismatic. It very much pertains to the conciliar church, Council of Trent. Very much would say otherwise, not only to Francis but to Cardinal Burke. So that would be my question to Cardinal Burke if I were to meet him. Why are we continuing to go against what is explicitly taught in the Council of Trent, which has placed an anathema on anyone who would suggest that the Latin Roman Rite be changed into new ones? And that's exactly what we have since Vatican II, this new order of mass, these new order of rites. They are in material schism, folks. Just because uh, an authoritative figure tells you something is Catholic, especially in this hour, you simply cannot believe it. Especially coming from your bishops even. you got to know your own faith. The bishops are sadly just as clueless as many laymen today. And I, over the years, have come across some bishops and even cardinals. And perhaps that's why they block me on social media. They simply don't like truth. They don't like tradition. That is the reality. Again, folks, it does one thing for me to point these things out. It's another thing to simply pray for, you know, popes, priests, and prelates, as I've always suggested. But again, can't get, can't jump on the Burke train, so to speak. Um, we have to be teaching Catholics as a part of this counter-revolution that the new mass needs to go away altogether. It doesn't represent the Catholic faith. It represents uh, essentially this Protestantized version of Catholicism 
Catholicism with a K, if you will, which has new theology, it has new philosophy, it has new doctrines. Even John Paul II admitted it was the Church of the New Advent. I don't want to be a part of the Church of the New Advent or the Cult of Man, as Paul VI called it. They have put themselves outside the Church, folks. And yes, that can happen. And in fact, it's been taught in Scripture and tradition. It's been warned about in various Marian apparitions. We've been warned even by some of the greatest minds of the church, uh, theologically, from a theological point of view, that yes, uh, you know, the majority of churchmen can throw themselves into heresy or a material schism. And that's what we have right now. And so uh, let us continue to pray. You know, the whole uh, motto proprio of Benedict the Sixteenth that is not even sufficient as well, because Benedict, as you know didn't come out against the new mass uh, as well and it led it led a lot of people into the conservative Novus Ordo movement sadly you know websites that you see out there that will still constantly hide behind the council and go to these indult masses where the faith is not folks you can't be keep it simple they're teaching Vatican II somewhere. It doesn't matter if they're saying the Lou Mass or, excuse me, the Latin Mass. You can't be there because the faith is not there. It's that simple. We have the Arian crisis as a foundation for that argument when everyone had the same, the same Mass across the board. So indeed, folks, we are in those times that the apostles, early apostles warned about. All of these Marian, approved Marian apparitions have warned about Stay out of any church teaching the Vatican II new religion. And yes, that is going to limit your opportunity opportunities to get to the sacraments. So once again, we have Burke butting heads with uh, Francis. Again, Our Lady of Akita warned that Cardinal would oppose Cardinal, Bishop versus Bishop. We're seeing that. We saw today another bishop from Poland uh, come to the aid of those bishops who were pointing out uh, the errors in the latest apostolic exhortation. Uh, look for that to continue to uh, increase in terms of you know bishop versus bishop, cardinal versus cardinal, you know Tobin versus Burke, uh, Schoenborn versus Schneider. I mean it's it's that's how it's going to be. Um, let's pray to Our Lady that we can end this confusion, and that's what Vatican II has wrought. It has wrought confusion. It has wrought nothing but bad fruits. This is obviously from the spirit of man and from the spirit of world. The texts are bad. The spirit is bad. Everything behind Vatican II is bad wholesalely. And it doesn't matter that you know ninety to ninety five percent of the texts may be orthodox. It doesn't matter. You wouldn't eat an apple which was five or ten percent poison. Therefore, we can't accept the council altogether. It's that simple. Now, folks, make sure, as I mentioned, you get to tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Bookmark us along the right-hand side is a plethora of information. Make sure you are participating in the new poll question. Make sure you're getting to the blog archive. Uh, make sure you're continuing to uh, keep me in prayer. Uh, one of the things I would like to say, if I can, is over the past few weeks in terms of uh, financial assistance, things have been really uh, moving in the wrong direction in that area. Uh, so I implore you all, I, again, I, I can see the behind-the-scenes statistics in terms of viewership. We continue to increase in viewership, yet we're falling off as it relates to financial assistance. And, and that's not a good sign from a variety of uh, perspectives. The first per, uh, perspective that I will lay down is, if we are to survive the times ahead, we're going to have to see others first. I have to do this in my own life and be critical as I can, I try to keep money moving, if you will, um, in terms of you know helping those less fortunate. You know, even in these times, maybe you know tipping a little heavier for for, for waitresses. Um, you know, things along that line. The bottom line is, we have to do works of mercy. We have to do works of charity, and uh, I just implore you all to continue to get behind this apostolate. You you may not agree with uh, everything I have to say, but on the basis that you know. I may be calling out Trump. That's not a reason for you to not be donating to Triad Cat Night. If 
somebody can point out how I was not teaching the Catholic faith, that would be a reason. Uh, so the, the point is, folks, you know, as we're continuing to grow, I'd like to see newer and newer faces, even if it's just ten dollars a month on a consistent basis. That's not breaking breaking the bank uh, by any stretch of the means, the imagination. I would just ask you all to kind of close your eyes right now and envision Tradcat Knight not being there. If you didn't see this apostolate, you know, on a daily basis, I mean, where would you go to get your news? Where would you uh, go for analysis? Again, I'm not suggesting that I'm the infallible magisterium, but I know a good number of you rely upon this information daily. A good number of you who haven't yet gotten behind this apostolate in terms of uh, the financial aspect. So I just challenge you all to consider that today. Again, almsgiving, uh, the way of selfless love, as, as I say it. And that type of disposition is going to be necessary not only for me, but for you in these times ahead after the economic collapse. Are we going to try to self-preserve or are we going to go out there and try to see others first? And uh, so I'll, that's my little challenge for you today. I'll be doing a special fundraiser uh, at the end of the year. Um, but if you don't want to go the PayPal route, there's cash check or money order uh, inquiries can be sent to uh, Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. If there's anything I can do for you, I know I've got scheduled today some talks, some one on one talks. If you'd like to have that uh, little one on one session with me to answer your questions, send me a message to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. We can make that happen via phone, via Skype. I try to take time out to help you all and, and answer your questions. Um, news tips, articles, videos, blogs of your own, please also send those to Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com. And my good friends, uh, I just ask you all to continue to keep me in prayer. And we'll continue to plug along here at Tradcat Night. And until next time, Ave Maria.